What's going on beautiful people? This is Jerry Travis Smith. And today I want to talk to you about Winget UI, which is a fantastic front end or user interface for Winget, which is built right into Windows. And in order to understand Winget UI, let's go take a look at what Winget itself actually looks like. You have to run it from the command line. And it's been included with Windows 10 since 2018, and it's always been included with Windows 11. So there's nothing you really have to do, but you have to top in commands kind of like we did in the DOS days. So if I just put in Winget, it shows me a bunch of options here that I can use. So let's say I want to search for a piece of software here. So I like fast stone image viewer better than the stuff that comes with windows. So I can top in Winget search fast stone give it a second to search and here we go it actually uh, will tell me fast stone image viewer and in order to install fast stone image viewer I can issue the next command okay and you see that it's smart enough to know to download the fast stone viewer and then it runs me through the process the same as we normally would but the difference is I didn't have to go find this so I think that's a nice time saver what if I wanted to see the packages that I have on my computer all of them so I could type in winget list and it'll give me a full list of everything that it can find that I have installed it'll show me a list of installed packages even if I didn't install them with winget for example, Google Chrome, I did not use Winget to install it, but there it is. So, the issue a lot of people have is they don't like using the command line, and that's fair enough. That's where Winget UI comes in. So I'm just going to go ahead and close my command line, and we're back at Winget UI. Let me show you how I got to this page. Here's the direct link, but the easiest way to find it Let's just go to Google and type in Winget UI, just like so. And again, there's the GitHub link, so we'll click that. And then the easiest thing to do is go right over here to releases. Now, Winget UI is totally open source. You can inspect all of the source code. Martin Clement is the lead programmer on it. And he may have started Winget UI, I don't know, but there's lots of people that have worked on it. Looks like 38 people have contributed code. But let's go over here and click on the uh, releases. And at the time of this recording, Winget UI 2.2.0 is the most up to date. And then I'm going to scroll down right here and click on the winui.installer.exe. Unverified download blocked. Hmm. I didn't count on that happening, but we'll go ahead and do that. Download unverified file because I know that there is nothing wrong with this program. And we can see here it is. So I'll click on it and we run through the installer. I'll install for all users. Yes. I love this. The wizard will install your software. And I don't want it on the desktop, but that's just me. So we'll install it. And launch Winget UI. And instead of all the command line tomfoolery that a lot of people don't like, now I can search for packages in this nice little interface here. For example, if I want to look for fast stone again there it is there's both of the same packages that we saw from using the command line and if I go to installed packages it keeps an updated list of all the packages I have okay and it'll even show stuff that I did not install using Winget 
if it's available in Winget, which is really nice. So you can click software updates and here's stuff that's in Winget. And remember, I just installed Winget UI, but it's showing me things I have right now that can be updated. So I can tell it updated selected packages. Here's an option to update with admin privileges and so on. But um, I don't want to do all this on camera, so I'll update. Uh, let's update Git. So I'll just uncheck these. And I'll update selected packages. And it should do a silent update where I don't have to do anything. I will have to give it admin privileges because I didn't tell it to install them all with admin privileges. But that's okay. And watch this. When it gets done, these are going to match now. Well, it won't show up there because it this is the update side. But if I go to installed packages, so search on your software. If I put in git right here, you can see that uh, it's showing me 2.42.0.2, and that was the latest version. Well, the cool thing about Winget and Winget UI is you can export a list of packages that you want to have installed. I'm going to click this little source label here and it will alphabetize my packages by source. And anything that's in Winget, I can actually get with Winget. Um, so let's say I'm going to build a list where I know I want Git and Google Chrome. Let's say I always want to install OBS and Visual Studio Code. Okay, you could do all of these, but I'm just doing this as an example. Now we can come right up here to um, export selected packages to a file. Okay, and it's going to say these are the packages. I'll hit export. It lets me save it somewhere. So I'm just going to throw this right on the desktop for convenience sake, packages.json. Okay, and then let's open this with um, Visual Studio Code, just to give it a gander here. And you can see that this JSON file just basically has a bunch of information about those packages I selected. And if I go over to a new computer, the way I use this is you can just go in Winget UI and we can go to discover packages and import packages from a file. And it's already at the desktop because I just exported, but you have this packages file wherever you put it. You go find it, double click on it. It'll show you these packages. You even have the option to delete them if you don't want all the packages from the import. And then you can click install. For me, it won't do anything, I don't think, because my stuff should be um, totally up to date. Actually, it looks like that Visual Studio Code may have an update. Let's see. Oh, OBS was out of date. Ha! Ah. But this is like super convenient for somebody that sets up a lot of new computers. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you Winget UI because a lot of people don't know about it. I was pretty excited when I found it. As always, thanks for watching, guys. If this helped you and you like content kind of like this, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Have a great day and God bless.